Hey everybody, what is going on? I hope you guys are all doing well and welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, I'll be explaining to you guys how you can apply a, uh, well, sort of keyframe uh, technique in Clubchamp. So let's get right into it. Now, where other editing software such as, for example, uh, Adobe Premiere Pro or Sony Vegas, uh, all of them do have a keyframe, well, technology integrated into their system and what they basically do is if you for example have this image of a dog uh, and you take it from here and you well select this as the first keyframe and then move the video to here and move the position to here it'll create a smooth animation where it changes places from here to there throughout the entire video now in clipchamp that is simply not available so you do have to do things manually and let me just add this blue sort of gradient and add this picture of a dog over it and let me minimize it so that it can be well easier to see while it moves let's say that this is the starting position to actually uh, make quote unquote keyframes you'll have to move the uh, image manually however just moving it uh, in separate times is not enough since it'll hold that position for the entirety of the video what you need to do here is zoom in as much as you can as you can see to literal fractions of a second and then just continue snipping or splitting the image in half uh, like so just locate the closest uh, place where you can split split the image and then select this new one change the position like so then move it a bit more, change the position like so, split it again, move it again, or no, change, keep that there, select the next one, split it there, move it here, and as you can see, you have sort of a rudimentary keyframe technique. Uh, it looks very bad since it is going really fast, and I did it for a, a very small amount of frames, as you can see here, uh, and for a very small time, but you get the gist of it. You just need to be as precise as you can with both your movements and the snipping or the splitting of the image, and you should be good to go, and you can create sort of a rudimentary a movement of your image and that is pretty much it uh, there is nothing else that I can show you guys uh, you might have some other uh, functionalities in the upgraded version of Clipchamp however I'm pretty sure keyframes are not a part of that either so yeah that, this is pretty much the only option you have otherwise I'd suggest you move to a different software that's pretty much it hope you guys enjoyed and I'll be seeing you guys in another video